Hello there, and welcome to an episode of Forging for Dummies. Today, we will show you how to make jet skis. Come on, follow me, we can go forge. Alright, so now, we're at the beach. Here, well obviously, you know, we can build stuff, and have jet skis, and make pools and all that. Today, we'll make jet skis. I already have, like, a big jet ski pool thing, right over there with the dock and everything, but it's kind of advanced, and it was, like, took me about an hour and a half to make. And now, we'll, I'll just show you the basic stuff you need first. First. Yeah. First, you need a grid. Second, you need, um, you need, well, vehicles, of course. And maybe some walls too to set the boundaries so you don't fall off the grid. Okay. First, you put the grid. Well, make sure you have a rotation map on that, just makes it even easier here. First, you put in the grid, in the water, obviously. Um, I'd recommend going to edit coordinates and setting the height from either 1.9 to 1.7. That gives you a good. Like for the waves and all that. Alright, we're go actually we're gonna go lower for this. Um like about 1.6. Next you want to put down like vehicle of some sort. Preferably not a flying vehicle because that definitely won't work. So I would just bring out the mongoose. Put it in the water, you can drive it. Of course, I will put the in the water. So, we're gonna bring it up more. And now, you can see the body, but not really the wheel. That's actually a really good thing. That way, you don't see, you don't see very well that you're driving. And they are... beneath the wall. So this time we're gonna put down walls as soon as I respawn. Okay. Now we should put down walls. Our Frank Curtis here has already started. I'll just help him out. So you can use building blocks for walls and doors and all that. I'd recommend using building blocks because they just give you like a wide range. And there's a lot more stuff for it. Now, when you set up the walls, make sure they're outside the grid. And make it so then you can see them, but, like, they're almost under the waves, but you can still see them. That way, you know where they are. You don't accidentally hit a wall. And again, I'd recommend using edit corners. It just makes it so much easier. Now what you do, I'm just going to use the walls. Um, just take like a wall call soon or some, something that you would use. Put it around the edge. Oh. Uh, right. Just make sure it's around the edge. It takes some time. Uh, it takes a little bit of time just to put the walls around. It's actually easier to use another grid. But I already used my other grid, so it only comes with two grids. Alright, so now we're almost done here. I think. Yeah, we're almost done. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm like cold. Which where it just goes wherever it wants to. Alright. Once you get them into position, that, that would probably be good for now. Um it goes to like over there. So I can just put one more wall. Oh, I just died. That's the glitch.
Alright. As I respawn, I can finally fix the walls. Oh, I picked up the grid. That was a complete accident. I did not put it back right. I'm gonna fix it. Is this my wall that I put down? I think it is. Oh, whatever. Messed it up. Oh, I'm sorry. I kinda was looking for my wall. Right, now that we got the walls into place, we don't need to put any over here because it's like a sandbar. And the grid is going to the sandbar, which actually makes it easier. So now, have fun driving your long views jet ski thing. Um, also, next episode we're going to be covering how to make a dock. This is pretty simple, although it does take like 10 minutes just to get it right. And yeah, we'll show you more vehicles that you can use to, uh, like for jet skiing and all that. So I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for coming.